In this video, we're going to talk about symmetry in Forger. Forger allows symmetrical sculpting. The symmetry plane is controlled by the axis parameter of the mesh. In order to enable symmetry, one must choose an axis, usually X. This can be done from the symmetry button found in the sidebar. When pressed, the button will act as a toggle to enable or disable symmetry. We can use the button icon to quickly identify the symmetry status of our selection. When it's enabled, the symmetry button will be highlighted. When it's disabled, it will be grayed out. The icon itself will also show us the selected symmetry axis. Press holding this button will display the symmetry menu, which contains all symmetry related features. To close it, simply tap outside of the menu or use any of its options. It's important to remember that since symmetry settings are per mesh, if the selection changes, this button's status will refresh to show the settings of the selection. Forger also has topological symmetry support. This allows sculpting on both characters whilst keeping symmetrical strokes across both sides of the symmetry loop. In order to enable it, one must have a topologically symmetrical mesh without triangles and mask exactly two adjacent vertices that lie in the symmetry loop. The symmetry can be scanned by pressing the Scan Topological Symmetry button. As you can see, this allows us to sculpt on both sides of a post mesh while keeping the form symmetrical. Sometimes, due to accumulated precision errors or pure user testing, symmetry can break. Reapply symmetry is one of the two ways of making a mesh symmetrical again. This method relies on having a topologically symmetrical mesh and can apply symmetry to meshes. This feature is especially useful if a user only wants to make symmetrical part of a mesh, since it will respect masking when reapplying symmetry. The second method of making a mesh symmetrical is to use the Make Symmetrical option. This action will slice the input mesh across the symmetry plane, duplicate it, mirror and merge the mesh across the given axis, all in one button press. This can be used to make meshes symmetrical that were never symmetrical to begin with. Please remember that this feature changes the mesh topology if needed, or at the very least, the vertex order. There is also a way to mirror meshes across an axis, by using the mirror button and choosing any axis. 